-hmm. Now, what do you do when you don't know? You don't know who to ask. You don't know where to look. You don't know what to do. I think in her mental state, she was frightened, and she just started trying to get away the best way she could. Despite years of reviewing cases like this, I still wonder how does a person just disappear? In today's case, we've got a young woman who has no history of drug or alcohol abuse, and she's last seen having a mental health crisis. And then we've got a very strange condition in that law enforcement doesn't seem to want to assist in this missing persons case because during that mental health crisis, they labeled her a felon. However, her family is still waiting, worrying, and wondering where she is. It's time to turn on the searchlight for Margaret K. Alana Turner. Welcome back to Brain Scratch Searchlight. I'm John Lorden. Thank you so much for caring about these cases like I do. 27-year-old Margaret K. Alana Turner was known to her friends and family as K. Alana. Her profile at the Lamar University website states that K. Alana is determined, inspiring, and a natural leader. It notes that she had double majors in management and Spanish and a minor in hospitality. An interesting combination, but one that clearly pointed towards her dreams of working in ecotourism. She said in her profile, quote, It feels good to know that I can now talk to 21 Spanish-speaking countries in the world. It feels like unlocking some barrier. Latin America has so much natural capital, and it's constantly being destroyed. With sustainable tourism, we want to preserve the natural capital, water, forests, anything that can be used as an economic driver by making it a destination for tourism. It's a great opportunity to change countries that don't have many other ways to get ahead, said Turner. Honestly, she's been known for helping others throughout her life. In her hometown, she set up a book box for the local homeless population, and she also volunteered helping them in many other ways. This is a young woman who has a sweet soul that just would not allow her to do any less than help her fellow man. Wearing her hand-picked vintage clothing, she would entertain others at her home in Beaumont, Texas, playing her guitar and singing songs written by her. Her best friend, Brittany Mendoza, speaks highly of Kay Alana as well. She told KFDM in an interview, she will always be there to root for you more than anyone else. She's the person that I called almost every day to speak to and is still the most loving and talented and smart and caring friend I could ever ask for. During the pandemic in 2020, Kay Alana was actually living in New York City and she worked in Times Square, which required her to commute to work every day. Unfortunately, this seemed to leave her with PTSD. To help with this, her doctor prescribed some medications. By March 9th, 2023, Kay Alana was once again living in Texas and visiting Brittany's apartment in Silsby. Brittany stated that Kay Alana had been acting out of it, but when she asked her about the behavior, Kay Alana said that she was just tired and that she hadn't slept. What Brittany didn't know was that her friend hadn't slept in about three days. When Brittany went to work the following morning, she assumed that Kay Alana was still in bed sleeping and she left without knocking on the door of the room that she was staying in. Doorbell cam footage captures Kay Alana at about noon outside of the house, ringing the doorbell. When no one came to the door, she tried using the door's access code to gate entry. This was a code that she used often and it had stayed the same for years. She punched the numbers in incorrectly and became frustrated and walked away. She also had one of the house's garage door openers, but didn't think to use it. After trying a neighbor's door, and again, not gaining entry, she got into her car and drove away. A friend of hers, almost five hours away in Austin, received a call from Kay Alana saying that she was on her way to visit him, but that her phone only had about 3% of battery life left. He told her to write down his address so that she could find him. Sadly, it seems that she only wrote down his name and not his full address. 
At about 6 p.m., she sent a text message to Brittany that read, no help. Not understanding what she meant, Brittany called and she was able to get Kaylana on the phone. She said she was fine, but Brittany thought she was still acting erratically. When Brittany shared the encounter with Kaylana's boyfriend, James Rambo, they both became very concerned. Was Kaylana having a manic episode? ClevelandClinic.org describes manic episodes as an abnormal, long-lasting, elevated expression of emotion, along with a high degree of energy and activity that lasts for at least one week and is present most of the day, nearly every day. High levels of stress and changes in sleep patterns or lack of sleep can help cause this. Somewhere during her trip to Austin, Kaylana became confused and she lost her way. By 9 p.m., she thought she had reached Austin when, in fact, she was in Hockley, which is east of Austin. She pulled into the driveway of a stranger's home and asked the boy that lived there if she could sleep in her car in his driveway. The boy stated that he'd have to ask his parents permission, but by the time his parents went outside to see this woman, she had driven away. She drove around this subdivision for hours and appeared on multiple doorbell cams looking disoriented and confused before she pulled into a different driveway at 3.30 a.m. on the 10th. She stayed there for about 20 minutes before she drove away again, this time heading east, the same direction that she actually had just come from. At about 5.30 a.m., she again thought that she had reached Austin when she was actually in the city of Tomball. Tomball is a city in Harris County, which is a part of the Houston metropolitan area, the population was just over 12,000 at the 2020 census. The community was named Tom Ball for local congressman Thomas Henry Ball, who had a major role in the development of the Port of Houston. Between 6 and 7 a.m., she again found a subdivision in the 18,000 block of Country Hills Drive, and she started to knock on doors, looking for her friend. Eventually, she fell asleep in someone's driveway. When the homeowner saw her car and came out to check on her, he was unable to wake her. Concerned, he called the local authorities. When officers arrived, they knocked on her window and woke her up, which scared her and she panicked. As she tried to drive out of the driveway, she stopped. And when she did, one of the officers broke her driver's side window in order to try to gain control of the vehicle. This seemed to only make her panic even more. She took off nearly missing some of the responding deputies, and she drove for about half a mile going through a few fences and even a cow pasture before her car became mired in mud in the woods. Deputies initially ran after her car, but didn't follow her all the way into the woods. Instead, they brought out a scent dog as well as a helicopter with a FLIR camera to look for heat signatures, but they didn't find her. They did, however, find her car. She had left her purse, cell phone, and other belongings behind. Her shoes were found nearby, full of glass. Footprints showed that she then ran through the woods where she crossed Spring Creek, which divides Harris and Montgomery counties. She was now likely in Montgomery County near Decker Prairie Rose Hill Road, but that is where her trail was lost. At 10.15 a.m., Brittany tried to track Kaylana's location using a locator that was installed on her phone, but it showed that her phone was off. Hoping she made it to Austin, her family contacted Austin police to have them check to see if she was there. That's when they found out that the police were already actively searching for her. Her mother, Rosa, and her father, Robbie, reported her missing. Texas EquiSearch was very quick to offer their help, and they were almost immediately on the scene. Unfortunately, the Harris County Sheriff's Office issued felony warrants due to Kaylana's interaction with their deputies when they found her. They stated that the fact that she drove towards the deputies was possibly a criminal act. Robbie explained, That tied the hands of EquiSearch, because their policy is they will not search for anyone who has a warrant. They only search for innocent people, so they had a window that one Saturday before the warrants went into place. EquiSearch did what they could on that one day, but they found no sign of Kaylana. It also took the family about five hours to get her put back on the state's missing persons list. 
valuable time that was lost because any agencies that could help were unable to because of her status effectively blocking it. She is now officially listed as a missing person, but still has warrants. Montgomery County wasn't contacted about Kaolana's situation for three hours after she disappeared. The family searched, but they lost any help that law enforcement would usually provide in a missing persons case for over two weeks because of these active warrants. When her parents went through her purse, they found her medication. About two weeks prior, Kaolana's doctor had actually upped the dosage on her prescriptions. When her mother called her sister, who is a nurse, and asked about those medications, she was told that the two prescribed to Kaolana, Zoloft, and Ritalin should never be mixed. They then called her doctor, who, due to HIPAA requirements, couldn't even confirm that Kaolana was a patient. The family is sure that she made it to Decker Prairie Rose Hill Road, but they don't know where she went from there. They fear that she may have been picked up by someone and abducted. Since that day, no trace of Kay Alana has been found anywhere. Search efforts are still hampered by her status with law enforcement. The family held a candlelight prayer vigil on April 3rd at Woodcrest Methodist Church in her hometown of Lumberton. A crowd of nearly 100 people raised their hands in song and prayer and comforted the family as best they could. They sang, Wake Up, O My Soul, a song written by Kay Alana. Later that month, it was reported that a woman was sighted in the stagecoach area of Montgomery County. The footage was taken from a doorbell cam on March 22nd. When the doorbell footage was examined, it was found not to be Kay Alana. Family, friends, and fellow parishioners have hung thousands of flyers across the state. Searches continue to take place when property owners in the area of her disappearance are willing to let searchers come onto their land. Some billboards have also been put up to help keep the awareness raised in that local area. Her father, Robbie, stated, We've been to all the shelters we can in North Houston, Conroe, Tomball, Magnolia, whatever areas are around here. Nothing there. As far as we know, we have no clue. We have no sightings. We've got nothing. Kaolana stands at about 5 foot 4 inches tall and weighs about 127 pounds. She has blue eyes and light brown hair. She was last seen wearing a long pink maxi dress. Missing posters show her in this dress with a blue jacket, but that jacket was actually found in her vehicle. At the time of her disappearance, she was without shoes. Kaolana has a tattoo on her right collarbone of a ribbon with the number 13 above it. She has none of her medication with her, nor does she have her inhaler, which she uses for asthma. In the Montgomery Police Department's release of events, she is said to have what appeared to be marker drawings on her arms in black ink. Equisearch has conducted searches in the area, but they still have found nothing. Until some new lead is unearthed, they've put her case on hold. Kaolana's parents don't believe that she's running because she's afraid of the charges against her. They fear that she's in danger or confused and in need of serious help. Baby, come home. Come on, we, we, and if you're if she's if she's scared because of the interaction with law enforcement that there might be some repercussions that you know that that's handled. Both he and Rosa are now in the process of arranging a meeting with Texas Governor Greg Abbott. They hope to not only enlighten him as to the complications they've encountered in their search, but to discuss how the process could work so much better for someone having a mental health crisis. Quote, it's probably not going to help Kaolana, but hopefully it can help someone else in the future, because this is a lot, Robbie said. Kaolana's friend Brittany encouraged everyone at her prayer vigil to join in their search efforts, keep posting and sharing, because we need help getting this out there, she said. We can't wait to welcome her back with open, loving arms. Please share this video with any friends and acquaintances you have in Texas, especially in the Montgomery and Harris counties, to help us raise more awareness to this case. And if you have any information about the disappearance of Kay Alana Turner, please 
pick up the phone and contact the Harris County Sheriff's Department at 713-755-7427. Or you can also call Crime Stoppers at 713-521-4600. You can also email tips to find kturner at gmail.com. I've got all of that contact information repeated in the description box down below if you need it again. A $5,000 reward is being offered for tips that lead to Kay Alana. Since 2015, we have always run limited commercial ads for the benefit of you, the viewers, and the families that we're trying to help here. Obviously, we can't do that without support. A big thank you to new patron Madison Monroe, and another big thank you to Kira McQueen for increasing your pledge. If you'd like to join our team of supporters, please visit lordandarts.com there. You can sign up for Patreon, sign up for PayPal, buy merchandise, or even just buy us a coffee like Autumn Falls 89 recently did. We really appreciate your support on our mission to run as few ads as possible while we're helping as many cases as we can. Thank you to Fox 26's The Missing with Gabby Hart. Thank you, fox26houston.com, abc13.com, beaumontenterprise.com, click2houston.com, kfdm.com, prweb.com, clevelandclinic.org, recordpatriot.com, 12newsnow.com, conroetoday.com, the Moms Who Talk Crime podcast, and of course, Wikipedia for information contributing to today's story. Also, my personal thank you to everyone that is rallying around this family and giving them all the support that you can on this very challenging case. I really appreciate you people close to the situation, boots on ground out there. Thank you. Let's keep those eyes, ears, and hearts open and looking for Kaylana Turner. I'll see you here again soon on the Lord and Arts Channel.